As built for AutoCAD Feature Data Tutorial 2 Part 1 of 2 Data Capture After this tutorial, you will be able to collect non-geometrical data linked to geometry, place labels, show attributes in labels, change attribute values, and export feature data to tables. This tutorial will familiarize you with structured data capture. Start by selecting Tutorials Feature Data, Tutorial 2, from the As Built Feature Data tab. In this drawing, you see the ground plan of a building. Left of the drawing area, you will find the structure view. In this window, all non-graphic data that the software recognizes or that were added manually are managed. It is a tree structure similar to the one you know from Windows Explorer. The structure view is the central control element of the feature data management. It consists of three parts. Under the blue symbol Room Data, there are objects and attributes, sorted according to classes, that have already been inserted into the structure. The Object Collector symbol is used to edit several objects or their attributes at the same time. When opening a drawing, there are no object collectors. Under the Definition symbol, you'll be able to see definition data for the structure. New classes, their attributes, and links can be created and existing ones can be edited there. In this tutorial, we only deal with the upper part of the room data. Double-click room data to extend the tree structure. The entries represented by the red sphere are object classes. Now open the room entry by double-clicking it. You will see three room objects represented by a blue square. Look at the drawing next to it. You will see the three rooms in the upper left of the plan. They are marked with a green label which contains the room ID e.g. room 1, as well as the perimeter and area. Every entry in the structure belongs to one label and geometry elements of the drawing. Click the room 1 label in the drawing. The corresponding entry in the structure view will open automatically. On the structure view, double-click room 2 to open the object. The attributes that exist for this object will appear. You can make the attributes visible in the label. Right-click the Floor Covering sub-entry. Click Show in Label and the floor covering will be displayed in all room labels. To highlight or show room 1, right-click and select Highlight or Show. The labels can be manipulated by four handles, just like AutoCAD elements. To create a new room, zoom to the area above room 1 in the drawing. The room must be fully visible on your screen. In the Structure view, right-click Room and select Add Room Inner Point. This command automatically determines the wall polygon by clicking inside the room. After the room is clicked, a boundary is recognized and is shaded green. The rectangular column is omitted due to enclave recognition. The software has automatically recognized that the room ends at the door even though there is no direct reference line. This line only represents a bevel. To add the missing room area, click in the room area to the left of the line. The command has a configuration option. Right-click and select it from the context menu. The pattern recognition configuration dialog appears. The tolerance indicates how large the gaps between two lines may be so that the outline tracing skips these gaps. Ignore blocks means that AutoCAD blocks are not analyzed and are not used as room outline. Detect islands means that closed lines within the room are automatically recognized as enclaves and thus not taken into consideration when calculating the surface area. Use pattern recognition for doors means that door symbols are automatically recognized and considered when determining room boundaries. Click OK and Enter. Indicate an insertion point for the label. Click near the center of the room. The new room object is created with all its polygons and attributes in the structure view, and the ID Room 4 is automatically assigned. We will now adjust some attributes of the new room. The default floor covering is tiles. We want to change this to carpet to match the rest of the rooms. Select Floor Covering Tiles, double-click, 
and from the drop-down menu select Carpet. Click OK. You can see that the floor was successfully changed. Do the same procedure to change the height of the room. Go to the entry Height, right-click, and select Change. You will be prompted to enter a new value for the room height. You can type or click the text option and click the desired value. Other options to derive a value for the height are by clicking the length of a line or clicking two points in the drawing. For this example, we will type the value of 3.12. Click OK. To show the room height in the label, right-click Height and select Show in Label. Through this procedure, the structure will be filled with feature data. A data structure that is related with geometry elements is being developed. The structure can be edited or extended at any time. The captured data can be written into tables using the export functions. This is important if you should later decide to process the data in an external database or spreadsheet analysis. Right-click Room and go to Export to view the versatile options. Select Table, save the Excel file, and open it. In this Excel spreadsheet, we can see that all the details of the room were exported. In this tutorial, you learned how to collect non-geometrical data linked to geometry, place labels, show attributes and labels, change attribute values, and export feature data to tables. Thank you.